What's the best electric setup for a cheap minivan camper? That's what I'm gonna talk about in today's video. I'm glad you're here. Thanks for stopping by. So um, I get a lot of questions here on my channel uh, from some of the videos that I share asking about my electric power setup because I have a no build, cheap, and I do mean cheap, I only paid 600 bucks for this van, uh, minivan camper. And so I thought I would make a designated video on the channel to talk a little bit about it. That way, if I get future questions, I can reference this. So first thing I'll tell you is that there's a lot of variables to this. So it's difficult to say what might be best for you. So what I'm gonna talk about is what I decided to do because it was what, what I felt was best for me. So, um, I think once you have some sort of electric uh, power in the back of your van, it's gonna make a huge difference. And so it's one of those things that it, it, it has to be a part of your overall build, if you will. It's really important, it just is. Um, you don't wanna be out camping and you know have to rely on trying to find power. So typically what you'll see if you watch a lot of videos here on YouTube is that either Somebody has no power, and that's possible too. I'm not saying you can't do it, it's just that you're gonna lose out on some conveniences. Um, people will do uh, solar, uh, like on the roof with batteries, and they'll run cables and everything. And um, then they, or they'll do what I do, which is they'll use a battery bank. And so the reason I decided to use a battery bank is a couple of reasons. One is, I don't like the permanence of um, solar panels on my minivan because I do use this as a daily driver. I don't live in my van full time. Uh, if you're new to my channel and you haven't heard me say that before, I don't live in this van permanently full time. And so when I'm driving it around, I really didn't want the the solar panels up on top. Now I know you can get the, the flex ones that bend, you know, along the top, but um, for me, uh, I just didn't want that. The other thing is when you're in a small space like a minivan, you really have to limited area. And so in order to have battery power, um, you gotta figure out where am I gonna put it? And then where am I gonna put the control panel and all that sort of stuff? Cause you have to have the inverter and you have to have the fuses and you know, all that different stuff. So. Um, if the van was a little bit bigger, you might be able to build something, but with a minivan camper, I just didn't feel that I had any, really any good place to put it. So I'm kind of maximizing my storage as it is. And so what I ended up going with was just the simple um, Jackery 300, okay? And as you can see, it's got two 110 hookups or plugins, I should say. Um, it's got a couple uh, USBs um, and then it even has a 12 volt hookup. And um, this one is just the 300. Um, you charge it right here. This is the input. Um, there's a couple different ways that you can charge it. Obviously at home or somewhere where you can plug in. What I have is also in my van just this uh, plug-in. I ha actually have a plug-in for this in the back. And then this cord is probably, I don't know, four or five feet long maybe. Um, and so I can just leave it plugged in in the back. And when I'm driving, I can just, the, the battery can be charging. That's great. So I, I don't know, I don't know what the cost is on the 300 right now. I'll put a link in the description of this video if you want to look at it. Um, I know it's not ch an, an initial cheap investment, but for what I paid, it's been m well worth the money. And honestly, I would probably go even bigger. Now you have to understand with the 300, you're going to be limited. Okay. So a lot of people are like, can I run, you know, like something, you know, something like a heater off of that? No, you're not going to run a heater off of a 300. Now, Again, they make bigger ones and you're gonna, you know, spend more. So this works well for um, just things in the back like lights, 
television. Um, you, there's probably, you know, some smaller appliance type things you could use it for. Charging your phone, charging your laptop, using your laptop. Um, so again, it's, it's minimal, but it does make a big difference. And for me, um, the price was definitely worth it. I've had situations now where we've lost power uh, in our home and everyone goes scrambling looking for the jackery because <laughs> they they want to plug stuff in so eventually i'll probably actually um buy another one um i did end up then also purchasing the solar panel and this is a 100 watt uh solar panel um and so this just folds up and you can put it outside and it has um, stands on it so you can you know lean it one way into the sun and then it also does come with um, a pretty long again cord so you could actually have it outside and then charge your uh, jackery so again not necessarily a cheap investment to begin with, but well worth it in the long run. There's a lot of talk right now um, on the tinfoil hat community, you know, about is there going to be a disruption to our power system? Um, again, I can't recommend this enough. It's well worth the investment, in my opinion. And I would definitely do something even bigger next time or have a small one and a larger one um, when you can save up and buy another one. So again, if you want information on the setup that I have, I'll leave a link in the description. And if you have any comments, uh, feel free to ask and I will do my best to answer. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.